Good morning, welcome back to the Finca, another beautiful day. It's nice temperature at the moment, but it is set to get hot again. 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 Next <laughs> week it's supposed to get cooler, so we should be able to get the stable yeah. finished. Fingers crossed. Drastically cooler, yeah, another past 10 degrees less, which will be perfect. Yeah. And But yeah, we're still mid, mid 30s at the minute, 95 plus Fahrenheit. Yeah. Oh. Still warm. Uh, so what are we on with today? Well I'm doing a bit more cleaning because the more of the house that we're sort of getting done we're making more mess all the time. Um, if you remember in the corral more the little clean. <laughs> pebble stones on the floor that we're going to keep um, but the more we're walking backwards and forwards on them the dust is coming off them and the, the it's not really pointing in between it's just soil um, obviously goes everywhere and the well, cat hairs. It's cleaning up quite nicely though. Yeah. <laughs> but it is cleaning up, the more we're walking on it, it's cleaning up really and the nicely. same in the kitchen, we'll show you in a bit, but we've discovered some big slab stones. Yeah, yeah it was there. just concrete in there, um, but again as we've been walking on it, the concrete's breaking up and uh, it's revealing some great stones, so if we can, the plan is to keep that floor. It might need levelling a bit, but um, Yes, yeah. we'll have a look at that in a bit once once it's clean. <laughs> yeah. So I'm on Henry Hoover duty today. Yeah. And I've got a big shifter. You're wondering why I've got this big shifter thing on my knee? Because I'm back upstairs in the hayloft lounge and I'm going to be cutting some channels in the wall for the switches and getting the lights wired up. So let's crack on. Let's do it. Okay, so the switch is going on the wall about here. This is going to be a double switch. This side will put the lights on over the seating area there. And this side will put the lights on over the dining area there. So all I'm going to do is um, draw up. Uh, this is my box, my back box. It's just a metal back box. Um, put him on the wall about where I want him. I think about that will do. It doesn't really matter too much. Draw a box around it. Just to give me an idea. And then I want a channel down the wall big enough for, to take two wires. Um, so we put them down. Oh, we've got this big heavy thing. Plug him in. Let's see what we can do. Let's have a look at that. Where's my box gone? Here it is. A little bit more on the top. It needs to be able to sit straight, obviously. on the floor. Um, so obviously my me, me ceiling is going to come across there. The wires are all up behind it. They got my sunglasses. Um, they'll just drop into this channel. Plasters will sort it out when it's done and um, all will be good. Um, right, what's next then? Um, I think we'll do the light over the seating area first. Right, I'll try and explain this. <laughs> the wire 
from the previous thing, from the supply, comes in here to there. It then needs to lead off to the next light. So the the neutral um, positive and earth in here need to be joined together. Obviously, to send the keep the power going that away. Um, so with the connectors, what we do, we put a connector on each of these, and then from the live another connector which will then go run down to my switch that I've just cut when that switch that becomes live and that will come back into here again and then the two lights will be fed off that one there one there and then the neutrals from there will then go in back into the neutral block so um, the first thing I'm going to do so basically we need a three connector for the earth one for each of these two and one for the switch earth we need um, for the positive we need a two connector for those two then one for the switch so we need a three connector for that and then on the end of the positive that comes back from the switch I need a three connector on that one for the wire coming back one for each light and then on the neutral here I need a four connector one for that one, one for that one, and one for each light, if that makes sense. Um, in the meantime, I need to drill through these five beams now to get my switch wire in place. So I'll get that done first. Right, so they're done. Not easy. I can now thread my me, me cable through. I've actually drilled quite close to the edge of these because they were softer uh, for some reason. But I have to be careful when I nail the boards on so they don't put a nail through the through the cable. <laughs> Right, last one. Fabulous. Too much. I'll adjust that back. Right, good old, that's that one done. While I think on, I'm actually going to get this back box folded into place so it's dryish when I come to it. I've cut two holes out the top from my two wires and I'm just gonna. Oh, I can't reach anything. Let's say gonna spray form it in and then wedge it in with this piece of wood. So as it goes all over the floor. Get my holes at the top. get him where I want him, that looks pretty good and um, we'll let that dry and then we've got a good thing we can get our wires in then I'll just check it again uh. 
That's him. I'm good with that. I don't know if you can make that out, but I've got um, my, my lives on my main feed in and the live that goes to the switch in and the two lives um, from the main, two neutrals from the main feed in and um, with two spare ones there that are going to run back from the lights the the blue that's sticking down is going to be the live feed from the switch so I'll put a three-way connector on that one will go obviously onto that and then the other two will be one for each light and then the, the, the neutrals will come back into the two spare ones and that the bigger connector and um, the three earths are just joined together there's no earths on the actual lights themselves just a pos and a neg um, right so I need to and get the wire, the, the lights bit sorted out now. The lights, the bulb holders come pre-wired. Um, so what I need to do is get a wire from my blue, which is going to be my pause. It gets confusing, I know. Um, to run to that light, which is here. So I need to drill through both of these two. And then through this one as well to get to the, the other light. So I need four pieces of wire, um, two to go to this light here with a bit extra and two to go to that light there and I'm just going to cut them out. I just have a single wire cable here. I'm just going to cut them out of that and then connect them together. The black then will go into there and the, white, the other one then will come back and run into the, into the neutral, if that makes sense. So, I'll get these cut and get it all wired up. Right, so they're all wired in. I've got a pair of wires here, positive and a negative. Um, going through the light, I don't need to mark them up, it doesn't matter which way you, they go. Uh, and the same, another one here. Uh, I've got plenty of things, should I decide to move them up a bit or want them in different places or whatever. Um, and then, of course, I've got a little bit of wire on these. All I'll do when I'm putting the sealer in then, um, when we decide the final position, we'll drill the hole through, probably going to be somewhere around there, and then these will just go on the end of there, in the fitting with the bulb in there, so you've got plenty of room to pull it down, should you need to change the bulbs. Um, so that's it, I can now put the cover back on this junction box. They're done. Um, the switch wires in, I'm going to um, have a look at that in a minute, see if my box is set yet. Right, so my wire's in, um, if you can see those, I've cut them to different lengths because that one will go in the top connector on the switch, that one in the bottom connector in the switch and the earth, I'm going to earth to the, the box there. Um, it's a bit long, but it's better to have it too long than too short, you can't add any on. <laughs> so I'll get the switch wired up. Right, so he's in, I just need to repeat the process now for the next lights that are going over the dining area. Um, so I'm going to start from here, run my switch wire up, and then do the same wire in that I did in that box on this one. So this one's all in as well, all the wires are in from the switch. Um, less connections. Because it's the end of the, the run. Oh. So I need to connect nice and easily, me earth to me earth. Oh, <laughs> not easy standing on top of a ladder trying to do this. So there's one earth. There's the other earth. The pos from the main feed goes to the pos that goes to the switch. So I'll pop him in there. That's one. And then we switch pos. Get that out of the way. I always like to use big junction boxes if I can because it gives you a lot more room for manoeuvre.
Right, so they're done. So all I've got now, I've got a blue, which comes from my switch, which will be live when the switch is switched on. That needs to now run to my two lights, and then the two lights will then run back into the blue there, which is <laughs> blue, it's all blue, um, which is the neutral, which will complete the circuit. Um, so I'll cut some wires and get them in as well. So there we go, um, two pairs of lights, pause and neg on each one. There, ready to go into position, up to our right hand and nail. Um, excellent, right, so we've got the switching, we've got two pairs over the sitting area, we've got two pairs, <laughs> a pair, a pair of lights over the sitting area, a pair of lights up here that going over the dining table, the switch is in for both of these, the only one left to do now is the one over the kitchen. Great stuff, the third lot is in. Um, these will be over the sink somewhere. Again, they will cut them long, we can always shorten them. And those are going to be over the cooker. Um, the switch wire, I've just curled up. Can you see that? I've just curled it up on the wall there because we don't know where we want it exactly yet. Um, but um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine there for the minute. I so probably need to drill that through that beam, don't I? Because it'll be on this stud wall here. Um, right, so that'll be the last job. I'll do that now. Right, so it's coming through the beam now. This switch is going to sit somewhere on the end of this wall. Remember I said it's going to taper in. So it's going to be getting pretty thin about it. So somewhere around here will be a good spot for it. Um, but we've got loads of cable so we can mess with it um, when we get there. Right, I want to show you this floor um, downstairs, see how that's coming along and what we've discovered. Well, that's me and Henry finished for the day. Um, I don't know whether you can see clearly on camera, but the stones really are coming up a treat now. The more we're walking on it, we're getting up the, the surface dust. Um, as I say, I keep hoovering it. And um, yeah, they're looking really nice. I'm really pleased. Um, I'll show you the kitchen. These slabs here, um, when we first came, we first got the keys, the whole of the floor was just this concrete, I don't know whether you can see. Um, but again, as we've been walking on it, it's just breaking up underneath our feet, which is brilliant. So we've done a bit more tapping about and we appear to have these beautiful stones underneath, um, which is absolutely great because we were wondering what to do with the floor in here. Um, we didn't really want to put ceramic tiles down and floorboards are not as practical in a kitchen. Um, so it's absolutely fantastic. We're just hoping that as more of this concrete wears away, we've got these beautiful stones underneath. Um, not very level, not very even, but if it's anything like next door, it's, they're not cemented in. Um, so it should be quite easy to lift them, level them and relay them. Um, we've got a lovely patch near the door that you probably can't see that's uh, already nicely exposed so we just keep cracking on with it really every time I hoover a bit more comes away and if it's if it's easy enough give it a little tap with the hammer and um, yeah so as I say really pleased with that and uh, fingers crossed that the whole of the floor um, looks the same in a few months time maybe so another good day at the Finca. Um, I'm really really pleased with how those floors are, are looking. Um, it needed a good hoover for a while now you can imagine with seven cats um, but once you you know you get the, the dust and the, the hair um, you, you see the true beauty of the floor and I'm so so chuffed. We just keep getting surprises, more and more surprises every day with this place which is absolutely yeah, great. You, more often than not they're pleasant. Yes. That yeah. floor in the kitchen, um, we're hoping, we're not going to, we could rip it all up now and have a look underneath, but we've got enough mess as it is, yeah. and um, if there isn't um, big stones underneath it, then we've just got a, an even bigger dusty mess, haven't yes. we? Yeah. But it's slowly, what's being uncovered naturally, because there's concrete, I don't think it is, I don't know what it is. I really. It's a very thin layer of whatever it like is a anyway. screen or something. Not, uh... But as that's lifting, it's just exposing more and more. We're hoping they're not going to stop. So, yeah, yeah that'll be smashing, yeah. smashing. Um, all the electrics are done for the lighting um, system upstairs. 
Um, so probably now I can start with the putting the ceiling in. Exciting. Um, yeah, but it'll be, it should be a lot cleaner as well. Yeah. Because um, there must be a lot of dust come down from that anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that'll be a, a nice step forward. Um, that's probably we'll go ninety percent again for tomorrow. Yes. Too hot to be outside still. Yeah. Um, Just want to get get on with the stable really because I'm very conscious that my friend's been you know over over generous looking after Don Quixote and Goaty but. Uh, last week it was fantastic. We got yeah. half the roof on and that, and but yeah, it's just ridiculous again. But it never lasts long. It always breaks in September, doesn't it? It does. It does. So not long now. So yeah, another day done. Um, again, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks to all the subscribers. If you've enjoyed the video, found it interesting, informative, whatever, any positive reason, <laughs> consider um, subscribing to the channel. And if you click select the little bell, flies are driving me mad, um, click all, you'll get notified by YouTube every time we upload a video, which is currently six days a week. Yep. Um, so yeah, thanks again to everyone and we'll be back. We'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow.